but it's a little pro. Take a little hit, smoke a little weed, drink a little bit. I need a girl I can freak with. The way I try shit, and ain't scared of a big dick. Ain't nothing against it, but it's a little pro. Take a little hit, smoke a little weed, drink a little bit. I need a girl I can freak with. The way I try shit, and ain't scared of a big dick. Ain't nothing against it, but it's a little pro. Take a little hit, smoke a little weed, drink a little bit. I need a girl I can freak with. The way I try shit, and ain't scared of a big dick. Ain't nothing against it, but it's a little pro. Take a little hit, smoke a little weed, drink a little bit. I need a girl I can freak with. The way I try shit, and ain't scared of a big dick. Ain't nothing against it, but it's a little pro. Take a little hit, smoke a little weed, drink a little bit. I need a girl I can freak with. The way I try shit, and ain't scared of a big dick. Ain't nothing against it, but it's a little pro. Take a little hit, smoke a little weed, drink a little bit. I need a girl I can freak with. The way I try shit, and ain't scared of a big dick. Ain't nothing against it, but it's a little pro. amazing ass scene because I couldn't download the other scene before this scene I'm so upset but uh DeVoe reincarnated himself that's how you say it in reincarnation whatever he came back using uh Kilgore's powers or whatever and he had a personal satellite set up you know to destroy the city or whatever whatever and you know, Barry was running, you know, trying to stop it. And as soon as, and, and, and she was like, Marlies was like, okay, your husband is trying to explode the little bomb thing, but how you know that the bomb is not going to kill him? How you know that by him hitting it with all his might ain't going to kill him? And so, I'm about to watch the scene now where, you know, obviously... Barry's daughter goes back in time and saves him. So I'm guessing, and a lot of people have saved, have been saying, but nobody has confirmed if Barry was supposed to die or not. Obviously he was since his daughter went back in time and helped him out by, you know, hitting the little bomb thing with him. Um, but I'm like, okay, if he had died then, she wouldn't have existed because Iris ain't pregnant. Or maybe she is pregnant and we don't know. And she don't know. You know, it could have been an unexpected pregnancy. You know. I don't know. I don't know. They gonna explain it in the next season. But let's watch the scene. Yeah. When I saw that blue lighting, I was so blue. Purple lighting, I was so excited! And he knew. He felt something. He was like, uh-uh! What is this up on my back? Something is behind me. It's another speedster up on me. Why, why am I doing this? Okay. Yes, I was so here for this. I was, I was so excited. So excited. Cause he was supposed to die. Cause look at him. Look how he looked now and she helped him. So he was probably supposed to die. At least that's what Marlies says and Marlies is a genius. So, okay, we get the point. Um. Oh no, forget it, we get the point. Um, so Marlies helps him flash out and gets Harry's, I guess get his memories and his personality and the way he is back. So obviously Marlies helps team flash out of helping Harry getting his personality or in his memories and the way he is back. But he does not have his smarts back. And Cisco was very upset about that. And um, but he was like, it's okay, I still have my heart, and that's fine. And I was like, okay, but when you can't add two plus two, or when somebody give you the wrong change at Target, you're gonna be upset. <laughs> and so, um, but yeah, when Harry left. He was, Cisco was saying an end of an era. So I'm guessing that will be the last time we'll see Harrison Wells, Earth 2 version of Harrison Wells for a long time or if ever. So they have said, or I have read that there will be a new Harrison Wells in town. I mean, the, the Flash is not a show without Tom Cavanaugh. We just have to put that out there. He's an amazing actor. Just like the show would be nothing without Jesse L. Martin. They're both amazing actors. So... Hopefully, this one is better than HR. HR by far has been my favorite Harrison Wells that has not been evil. So, it better be better than HR, I'm just saying. So, let's watch the, the last part of this. I don't know. We should probably hug. <laughs> so cute and romantic. Well, no, not romantic. So cute and family oriented. There could be a million Harrys in this multiverse, but you, you're one of a kind. Is he? Yeah, he is one of a kind. But when did he start wearing glasses? Please tell me that, because he wasn't wearing glasses the first time we seen him. Maybe his eyesight is getting bad. I'm 
It's the end of an era. Yep, and, and that's funny that they told them, okay, once once uh, Carlos says it's an end of an era, everybody nod their head like, cause they, every single person nodded their head like, that was the funny part. This baby is so grown. She is just growing up so fast. She's so grown and so cute. Her name is Nicole, but they call her Jenna, but I'ma call her Nicole, cause she looks like her name would be Nicole. Okay, um, that they know that that's a three month old baby. <laughs> But it's okay, we get it. You guys can't have newborns on set and stuff. You gotta have babies that are prepared. And you know, they're used to the acting business, okay? Right. So, Nicole is doing her job. She ain't peeped nothing. Flash. Jenna Marie West. Jenna. Jenna, with a name like that, you know she gonna be a cheerleader. I already see it. She gonna be a flyer. Is that what they call them, flyers? Whatever, who cares? Okay, we about to watch this cute ass scene. With Barry and Iris. Oh, hi. Now, hi. let me just say, Iris' outfit in this episode was sickening, okay? Even though she's wearing the this same really sweater good. that Felicity wore in season We're next six or seven, whatever. But it's okay, it's Wait. cute. It was cute on both of them. They both cute. What do you mean? You want to have a baby now? What do you mean? You, right now? Barry. What? Relax. He said, right now? You mean like right now? Like right now? Like right now? <laughs> Not anytime in the near future. <laughs> He's so nasty. Oh my god, let me just get you a, a refill so you can. That's nice. It ain't That's gonna do nothing for him. He can't get drunk. Okay, so we about to watch this last. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Oh, Wally came back. That's what I wasn't paying attention to when Wally came back. I was so happy, but then sad because I feel like he's not gonna be on The Flash next season. He'll. I feel like they'll eventually bring Wally's character back to the Flash, but I don't think that they're gonna bring him back next season. If they do, thank God, because I actually started to love Wally's character in the ending part of season three. Season two, I did not like him because he was coming for Barry and nobody could come for Barry. And then season, the beginning of season three, he kept being mean to Joe. And so, but in, in, in season three B, he started getting better and I was like, ooh, Wally, and I liked him. Um, but yeah, hopefully they bring him back because him being on the Legends, I was like, I thought that the people that could be Legends were the people that's lives didn't matter at all. Like how the, fla the Flash, how, okay, for instance, like Oliver and Barry could never be a Legend because their lives matter in the timeline that they're in. Because in season one of Legends of Tomorrow, he said, oh, the reason why I picked you guys as Legends is because you guys' lives will not affect the timeline at all. And so I'm like, since Wally is a legend now, wouldn't him, wouldn't him be missing in action affect the timeline? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm thinking too much deep in it just because I want him back. Because I'm like, damn, if Wally come back to the Flash, then eventually Linda could come back too. Cause that uh, I I keep I, I'm not gonna put her name, so I'm not gonna say her name at all. But Linda, her show got canceled. So girl, you can come back over here. Come on, <laughs> come back over here. Iris need a friend, girl. Come on. But yeah, let's let's watch this last scene. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hey. See, look, her hair is short, but in all the other scenes, her hair was long. So I'm like, is this a different version of Nora? Did she come back multiple times? Or did she just decide to cut her hair? Weren't you the server at their wedding? While she was there. And where did you get this jacket? My mama. <laughs> From her. Um. No, mine. Mine is a, a one of. Very like. <laughs> You did not got so my wife's this, jacket. Like, what are you talking about? When you let me borrow it. <laughs> he like, what? I'm your daughter, Nora, from the future. Look at Iris' face versus Barry face. Made a big, big mistake. Barry was all kikis and giggles until she said, I made a big mistake. That's what he believed her ass. He was like, you my daughter. <laughs> Until she said, I made a big mistake, he was like, oh, hell, shit, she my daughter, because I've been making mistakes all the damn time. That's how he knew that that was his damn daughter. Now, they have said that this, um, uh, Nora Allen is from the future. She's from 30 years from now. 
uh, she she's from 2048. Obviously, we know that Barry is still alive because when on on um, season three, episode eight, um, they got um, Legends of Tomorrow people. They got a message from the Flash. Seventy years was it? Seventy years? He was seventy years old, or seven? It wasn't seventy years into the future, but he was like old, and he was talking with like an old voice. So we obviously he know he's still alive in the future. Uh, we don't know about Iris, but Black don't crack, so hopefully she's still alive too. But anyway, yeah, they said that she's 30 years into the future, so I'm guessing that she's the same age as Barry and Iris are right now. And I believe Barry and Iris are supposed to be like 28, 29, 27, 28, 29 in that bracket age. So I'm guessing she's the same age now. But I'm like, that really doesn't, I mean, it, it could, she could be 28, 27, 28, 29. But when she met Barry, when she met Cisco and Ralph, when she met Caitlyn and Wells, she seemed as if she was a teenager, did she not? Or am I tripping? She had the long hair. Even when she met uh, Joe Cecile, she seemed like at least 17, 18 years old. But now all of a sudden, she around the same age as Barry and Iris. She don't look a day older. She don't, she look a good, on the old end, she look a good 23. On the young end, she look a good 16 years old, okay? Uh, Iris automatically believed her because her face was like, and Barry was like, girl, you is not my daughter. Like, what are you talking about? Until she said, I messed up. And he was like, okay, yeah, come here. Give me a hug. Come here, give me a hug. So hopefully in next season, I'm so excited for next season. I think that the writers, or I'm sorry, not the writers. The producers did season four this way on purpose, knowing that we weren't going to enjoy it as much as we did in season three, two, and one. Um, just to set up for a better season five. I am so excited for season five. I can't wait to review it. I'm going to be so excited. Oh, my God. You know. But hopefully, when season season five airs, it will leave right off at that moment. Hopefully, we don't get a time jump like, oh, three months later, six months later. Hopefully, it stays right in that moment when everybody's in the house. You see what I'm saying? They're going to have to cast a new baby, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, Mad Crush Monday, Woman Crush Wednesday. Like the curry, Steph and Aisha shit, but we more like Belly, Tommy and Keisha shit. Gave you TLC, you wanna creep and shit. Pulled out my whole heart to a piece of shit.